I'm Robin with OxyDry, and here we are reading this book, Let's Sell, and we're on to chapter 5 now. So, uh, let's see what we have to see here. Uh, the first, uh, this chapter is called Get Attention. The first part of your sales presentation should be short and sweet. Sometimes it may take less than 30 seconds. The purpose is to get the prospect to open his mind and pay attention to what you say. This is absolutely essential. You can't sell a man unless you have his full attention. The thing to remember is that many prospects are deliberately trying not to pay attention to you. It is a good form of sales resistance. They may look you in the eye, but they aren't listening to what you say. They are really wondering how they can give you a fast brush off. The way to be sure you have the prospect's attention is to deliberately set out to get it. We'll always assume the prospect is hiding behind a curtain of indifference. You've got to smoke him out in spite of himself and get his undivided attention. There are a number of good ways of doing it. <clears throat> One choice is a bit of news or gossip. Perhaps you can give him something interesting to look at or do. This is especially good if there's a challenge involved and if it is directly related to your product. <clears throat> People rise to a challenge. It's a surefire attention getter, and so is a sincere compliment. Be alert. Keep your eyes open. Notice the little things that the prospect is bound to be proud of. A compliment always gets attention, but be sincere. Don't fake it. If you look, there are plenty of things for which people deserve to be complimented. <clears throat> if you can spot a man's hobby or special interest, that's another way to make him an eager listener. Give a man that kind of chance and he will usually open up like a geyser. Perhaps you can arouse his curiosity. Maybe there is a strong, a strange or unbelievable fact that will demand his attention and get you into the, your sales story. Sometimes you can offer information in which he is keenly interested. A question is also a good way to get attention. Ask him something he has to think to answer. Then he has to give you his attention. If you spend even a few hours thinking how each of these ideas might apply to your product and prospects, you'll come up with some good attention getters, and you'll need them. You must have a good one to open with, and then you always need a couple of spares to get attention back in case of interruptions. If you can't keep a prospect's attention, selling is a hard way to make a living. Sometimes a product is so interesting it is bound to snare the prospect's attention. If so, you don't need any other attention getter but many prospects are strongly braced against a direct attack. They are determined not to be interested. That's why an indirect, easygoing attention getter is generally better. It makes him drop his guard. All right, that was chapter five. I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you for watching.